Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to teach you about loops in PHP. And in this particular video, I'm going to teach you about a while loop and do while loop. But first of all, what is a while loop? By the name itself, uh, you can understand that a loop is a piece of code which will execute again and again in loop until and unless some condition is true or false okay so loop is a piece of code which we use to execute a piece of code again and again until and unless some condition is met so let's start with while loop so for example i want to print some string again and again 10 times uh, without writing the code 10 times right so for example I want to print echo and for example programming knowledge I want to print it 10 times but I don't want to I mean repeat the code I don't want to do it like this 10 times I just want to use the same line and I want to print this 10 times how can I do it so I can do it using loops so for example what I will do here is I will just, just first of all I will declare a counter counter and I will initialize it by one and let's see how we can use while loop first what is the basic skeleton of while so while loop is declared by this keyword while and these two brackets and here comes your uh, your code so this is the keyword to declare while loop and in this bracket comes the condition which has to map uh, in order to uh, execute the code inside your while loop so i want to print this whenever some condition is true now in while loop there is a number called zero and whenever you give as an argument to while loop your condition will never be true because zero is equal to false in php whenever you uh, pass, this, uh, pass it as an argument for checking some condition and on the other hand one is considered as always true so if you give one as a while loop and it will keep on running forever without stopping so never attempt something like this until and unless you have some concrete reason of doing this otherwise it will crash your browser it will crash your uh, computer and you uh, you know you, it can be harmful for your uh, program so never try something like this until and unless you have some reason to do it okay okay so for example I want to print this 10 times how can I do it I can provide a condition to this while loop that until and unless this counter is less than or equal to 10 I want to print this but we are not uh, using this counter anywhere right so it will always be less counter we initialize this counter by one and one is always less than 10 then this is the same condition as giving one to over here so this is the same condition like this which which will never be met right so what we can do is we can increase this counter every time we execute this code we can increase it like this by this increment operator and what this will do let's see it will print out this 10 times let's try to run the program and it prints this programming knowledge 10 times let me provide this break which I always forget so that it will be printed in line by line you see now for example I want to check uh, whether is it executing 10 times really or not what I can do is I can just provide this single quotes here for example and 
or even I can use double quotes also and I can use the concatenation operator so I can concatenate uh, this here counter and so I want to just print the counter value not the counter plus plus right and then I want to provide the break okay so space this counter and then the break in double quotes I will provide the break and let's uh, do it with the single quotes for now single quote single quote single quotation and single quotation and here I should add uh, my and symbol otherwise it will not recognize this and let's see what is the value of counter one by one okay I will just rerun it and you see the value of counter first of all is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 until 10, right? So what's happening here is you provide the value of counter is equal to 1 and it goes to this code and here value of counter is 1 and uh, which is less than 10 so it will execute this code and the value of counter will be printed 1 here. And then your counter will be increased by 1. So the value of counter becomes 2 here. It will go once again to the loop. It will check 2 is less than or uh, less than 10 still. It will print this and the counter will be 2. And counter will be increased to 1 more which is 3. And it will keep on doing this until and unless this counter becomes 11. And this condition is false. 11 is not less than or equal to 10. So this code will not be executed and your uh, code will go out. Yeah. Okay. So this is how you can use while loop. And what is the basic thing here? Until and unless this condition is true, your code will be executed. Now you can also use do while loop to perform the same task. But the problem with do while loop is not a problem, that, but the property of do while loop is it will execute at least once even if your condition is true. So, for example, I will show you how you can declare do while loop. You just need to write do here instead of while, and it will uh, include these curly braces, and after your curly braces you provide while and you just give the semicolon here okay so by the you skeleton itself you can understand what it will do it will do first so do means do something so your program will come here it will execute this condition and it will check this condition after executing this code okay a while whether whenever you were using while it was checking the condition first and then executing but in the case of do while loop it will execute the code first and then check the condition for example I uh, do it like this uh, or I do it like this which is never true right so our program should ideally go out of the loop right because this condition is not true so whenever I run this what will you expect it will run at least once because do while loop executes your code even if the condition is false at least once and then checks the condition okay so this is the property of do while loop it will execute your code and then checks the properties and if this is 10 and once again you will run it it will execute it like this okay so remember this whenever you want to check the condition first use while loop and whenever you want to perform your code at least once before checking the condition use do while loop so i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now